welcome back to my channel if you are new hello my name is Tashai today we're going to be trying out the new Pat McGrath palette this rose decadence limited edition palette loved it when I seen it the color story the design of the palette I just had to have it so yeah I picked this up and yeah I'm going to try it out let's see if it's worth the money worth the coin I know the 10 pan palettes are like the best quality out of her whole line but I just I just haven't taken the plunge yet so we're going to see what this six pan palette is saying so before i get into the shades look at the palette beautiful beautiful design i love the rose theme with the little gold detailing one thing i will say though is that i feel like the packaging is quite cheap i feel like they could have done so much better i mean the idea is nice but maybe if they had it to be more of a plastic so it comes with six shades and they are oh total net weight is 12 grams and yeah regular stuff so this is what the pad looks like it has a mirror here and it is like a magnetic closure so this is a bit of a close-up of the palette really beautiful so this shade here is called golden honey which is described as a light antique gold metallic then directly underneath we have literally one of my favorite shades of the palette it's called a fuchsia flame and it's a warm pink duochrome with fuchsia purple flash up top here we have scandalous which is a rose bronze metallic which i'm kind of shocked at because i thought it was more of an orange directly underneath we have the first matte which is called peach dust which is a pink coral matte then on this side we have the deepest matte in the palette which is called hedonistic rose it's described as a mid-tone pink mauve and then directly underneath it we have pink champagne which is a warm frosted pink and I feel like this one's a little bit more of a satin. So yeah, that is a little close up of the palette. It is limited edition and all the shades in here are new shades, none are repeats. So those are the eyeshadow shades. I'm not gonna swatch them just because I don't like swatching eyeshadows, honestly. But we're gonna do the real swatches because I feel like it really doesn't matter how eyeshadows look on your arm. It matters how it looks on your eyes. So that's how we're gonna test it out today. So I'm always going to prime with, if I can find it, I feel like my workspace is so messy today. I've been literally loving this Be Perfect Cosmetics Primer. It literally works with every single shadow I've used, like stunning. So this is the Be Perfect Cosmetics Perfect Prime Eyeshadow Base. I'm just gonna apply this, then we're gonna jump into this palette and see what we can create. So I'm gonna jump into the first matte shade here called Hedonistic Rose, the deepest pinky mauve and i'm going to kind of use that as a transition i feel like i think i can get away with that i've never tried pat mcgrath's matte shade so i'm pretty excited kind of apprehensive so let's have a go i'm going to go into my carnival pro palette and i think i'm gonna pick up a pink in here i'm gonna go in with i'm gonna go in with this shade here called influence i'm just gonna pack that on give it a little bit of oomph now we're gonna go into our lid shade which is fuchsia flame it's such a pretty duochrome I am going to swatch it a bit on my hand. Look how, I don't know if you guys, look how gorgeous that is. It looks purple to you guys, but it's like pinky. I don't even know how to show you guys the duochromeness because it's just not going to come off on camera. It literally looks purple to you guys. But I'm going to use my finger to apply this because I feel like with Pat McGrath's metallics or shimmers, I feel like they're just better applied with your finger. Of course, you can use a brush but I'm just gonna use my finger because I prefer to. So I'm just gonna put this on the main part of my lid and just kind of blend it in. And yeah, let's see how this looks. This color is stunning. I'm gonna, I don't think you guys are gonna be able to see. I'm gonna have to take a picture. I'll probably put it on my Instagram. and probably in the thumbnail, but you can see the purple because I've used it with pink shadows. The pink is reflecting more, but has a beautiful purple shift very nice i'm gonna apply this and come right back because you guys are gonna be able to see because i need to see if i didn't have nails on i could actually like show you guys but because i have to like be careful i don't poke myself in the eye i'm just gonna go for more of a flat brush and just like make sure i've got in the inner corners 
this is a very beautiful i'm gonna go into the bh's max palette and i'm gonna pick up this shade okay this shade here got reckless it's like a plum shade like a deep purple plum do you know what i'm not even sure if i want to do it i'm just gonna see how it looks if not i'm just gonna blend it away but i just want to kind of see if i want to define it a little bit in my lv just a little bit <laughs> Okay, we have lashes on, yes. Let's go ahead and do the rest of our face. Today I'm using my Too Faced Chestnut and my L'Oreal 340 Chestnut under my eyes. I know I'm looking super bright and highlighted. Don't worry, we're gonna get it back down to earth. But the coverage, the power that this has, oh my goodness. Let me tell you guys something about this concealer. This Too Faced concealer, if you have the coin, because I think it is like 20, 30 pounds, the coverage is insane. Like it makes you look flawless under your eyes, gives you amazing coverage. It's just beautiful. So if you haven't tried that and you wanna try it, definitely I would recommend it. For my face, nose contour is imperative. It's not a skip, it's not a, eh, we can forget to look like it needs to be contoured. We just need that definition. This fits the profile. The profile just looks with the contour. So um, yeah, I'm gonna quickly do that. And yeah, we'll be back. I'm just gonna set my under eyes with my head of beauty. Might as well just bronze before I finish the eyes. I'm gonna go into my glow bronzer. I kind of want to, to use my Enrobe. I haven't used it in so long because I've just been loving my other bronzers. So I'm actually just gonna jump into this. If you guys see any stains or stuff on my top, it's literally because this is like my makeup top. Like when I first started doing YouTube, I was wearing like different like tops to film and I just found that like, I kept ruining tops of makeup. So now I have like a rotation of like t-shirts that I use to do my makeup in because I'm messy, I'm a little clumsy, so I need it. I wanted to put like that dark purple from the BH Cosmetics palette just a little bit under my lower lash line. That purple that's called Reckless, it's like a deep plum shade. I'm gonna go in with like a, <laughs> this is a brush from the Naked palette. Oh my gosh, do you guys remember the Naked palettes? Wow, those were the days. This is when I first started my makeup. I don't know what happened to Urban Decay. They just, I think they just got a bit boring. But anyway, we're gonna go into this reckless shade. For in a tear duct, I'm gonna use the pink champagne. Why not? Just to open up my in a tear duct just a little bit. So let me get a small brush. I'm just gonna pop it just here. Just slightly, I don't want it to like be a big deal. Just. Now we're just going to highlight skin. Today I'm probably just gonna use my regular Zegler Shy Beauty. Which one is this? Oh, this is Blaze. I don't mind using Blaze today. I do have 30% off on my website. I'm having like a little end of summer sale. So um, use the opportunity to pick up some stuff if you haven't. I have highlighters, lip glosses, lashes. <laughs> if you guys want to support your girl and pick up some stuff. I love how Blaze looks like, especially on the tip of the nose. I can get really carried away. But I think it looks so pretty. I guess it's time to just do the lips, isn't it? <laughs> We're done. Um, should I try and do a different look? <laughs> I have so many, like I have a whole bunch of lipsticks on this table and I always go for my regulars. So let me try. You know what, let me plug myself. I'm gonna use my Shy Beauty Gloss in Rosy, it's just this really pretty pink. I'm not sure if I like this color of my eyes. I feel like I'm just gonna do a clear gloss actually. So let's just rewind, let's go back. 
I think a clear gloss is better. So we can use this liner. And I kind of have like, especially my bottom lip is quite pink anyway, so I don't need reinforcement. <laughs> especially if I've got quite a pinky eye going on. I'm just gonna use my Shadow Beauty Clear Gloss because I have mixed this. I don't know if you guys can see. The clear, it's not clear anymore because I've always used it with my nude lip combo so I've just sacrificed it and just said it's just gonna be a nude lip clear gloss. So I'm just gonna use this. Oh goodness. <laughs> Do you see <laughs> Do you see this? I love this makeup look like the lid shade is like speaking to my soul like I love it as far as the palette itself I think it's beautiful just rosy like this palette just gives me romantic vibes like this is something I definitely pick up if I'm like if it's like Valentine's Day or it's like a date night type vibe I definitely pick this palette up I just feel like it's very romantic very pink the matte shade I used today literally gave me no issue no patchiness blended beautifully not chalky not ashy it's Pat McGrath like I'm not gonna act like I'm surprised we know she come through the quality so beautiful all the shades gorgeous um the color story beautiful love it you guys know how for the packaging I feel like it could be so much better this is a 50 pound palette yes 50 pound palette i did get a discount code on it so i spent a little less but it is quite expensive so i'm expecting top quality honey not no scratchy scratchy palettes so definitely don't like that is it worth it is it worth it not to buy i'd say if you're a collector of pat mcgrath then obviously you might want to add it to your collection because it is limited um also if you just have the money to buy it you like the color story you want to pick it up pick it up is it a must have? Do you need to go out and get it? No. I got it because it was my birthday. I love the colour story. I love the look. I love pink. And this Fuchsia Flame shade was literally the one that told me, you need this in your collection. It's not a must have. You don't have to go out and get it. It's not something I like recommend out of like everything Pat McGrath has. If you do just want to jump in and try some of her shadows, these little plastic like containers with the shadows in it are really, really nice. They're literally on sale on her website for like £10. They're like £11. 11 pounds i believe and you get one two three four five 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 <laughs> five mini um shades in here which are so beautiful like these are my first introductions to pat mcgrath's um quality and the quality of these are beautiful they're creamy they're luxe like they feel expensive like they feel like another tax bracket bitch like you can feel the quality on these so if you just want to try her formula and her palettes you just want a little introduction you don't want to do too much these are 11 pounds right now on her site and it's free shipping to the uk so and there's always a little 10 percent off code that you can use if you're a first time buyer so you can even get 10 percent off so you should pick these up and then this is the more colorful one and of course i had to pick this one up too these are gorgeous don't mind my hands i've been swatching some stuff these are beautiful so yeah overall i really like it really enjoy it i can't wait to create more with it this future flame it's just giving me everything i need like i'm definitely gonna take some pictures because it's not doing the justice it's just not but um yeah i really enjoyed this palette hopefully you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a nice thumbs up subscribe and um turn your notifications on so you can see my latest content and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video i feel like did i finish the video right but i'm, I'm sure i did i'm sure i did so yeah i'll see you guys in my next one uh -oh.